towards a depression raised a storm in should be in the money. Well, as Kerry Douglas reports, two young computer enthusiasts from Sydney's northern beaches believe they've cracked it. Richardson and Steve Cox run a small business programming musical software. It's a cottage industry, but these two believe they've invented something which will change the entire computer world. Oh, it'll turn it on its head. It will turn it literally on its head. It just means that we're going to rip the industry apart and redesign it so that it, uh, so that it becomes a lot more profitable. I'd say it's extremely innovative and uh, it could revolutionise the way we distribute the software. Will it set the whole worldwide software industry on its head? Well, it's going to start everybody talking. Computers are big business. Last year alone, 26 million personal computers were sold around the world. For the most part, the distribution and marketing of software is controlled by a handful of big international companies. WordPerfect's a word processing program that you can use to write large documents with. If you're not a big player, it's very hard to get your software designs into the market. Well, the thing is, we can't use that as a PIC file because we want to try and keep the graphic size down. After days of backyard brainstorming, Rick and Steve found a way to crack the market and at the same time protect their design from piracy. It's uh, so easy to break into software. All you need is a couple of little uh, tools, software tools, to get right into the guts of how software works, find out what numbers the software is using to protect itself, and then uh, trace where the software is using it and then cut that whole section out of, the, out of the program so that the software doesn't know that it's meant to be protected. So it's relatively mm. easy? Yes, it's, it's, it's way too easy, even though um, this kind of know-how is not common knowledge. The fact that uh, someone can get a handle on it and, and, and uh, break it down and then share it with his friends is, is, you might as well, everybody might as well know how to do it. It's estimated that every time a piece of software like this is sold in Australia, it's copied at least five times. Now, it's debatable whether people would buy if they couldn't copy, but some in the industry claim they lose up to $300 million a year because of software piracy. Now, this is what you've come up with. Yes. This is the first screen we're looking at that comes up whenever you start up a game or a, a word processor. In this case, um, we're using a little um, text utility that we uh, ran up just for demo purposes. But you'll see there's two selections here, try now and buy now. And if you select the demo button here, it'll take you to the disabled uh, version of the software where some of the features are turned off. So what we've done is we've um, cut off the sections of the program that enable you to use these features until such time as you register them. So this is a simple word processing program. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to use it to write a letter and then save the letter and print it no. unless you'd actually bought it. Yes. So you can still get to, to play with it, still get to see what features it has, but you can't really use it practically. The key to the protection of this software is the registration number. It provides a sort of technical intelligence, which means the software will only work on the machine for which it's registered. If it is copied and placed on another machine, it will only work with the purchase of a new registration number. So instead of it being um, one, one copy broken and then made available to everybody who wants to use pirated software, it's one copy broken, but um, you have to break it each time with each piece of software to be able to get it to work on other people's machines. Oh, I'd rate it as being very uh, important to the industry uh, and it's certainly going to make all of us um, uh, reconsider how we distribute the software and, uh, and basically make that software available to the uh, customer. Shane Kellaway is a computer expert and software distributor. 
He says Rick's development has huge potential, but some in the business might not like it because it will allow software customers to buy direct from the designer instead of going through a retailer. I think it's going to change the, the way of distributing the software, and yes, I think for some companies, we'll first see it as a threat to the current way they do business. The industry as a whole, though, I don't think we'll see it as a threat. If anything, the industry as a whole will welcome it because it's enabling us to do what we want to do, which is to get software in the customer's hands. People are just sick of not being able to get access to the programs and the tools that they want. And really, distribution is the main problem. Getting your software, getting the tools, is the main problem in the industry today. Because the, the prices are coming down generally, but if you add that to the fact that we can control uh, piracy, it, it can't mean anything else but tremendous things for the industry. So what else can we say? Kerry Douglas reporting. Some 3,000 licensed polluters in New South Wales must be...